Hi everyone! In this video I have to tell you that I'm a big fan of the FMS Blazer, the Chevy Blazer. The, uh, I have the small version, they have a big one which I also would like if I had one. Uh, but let's talk about the smaller version first. I wanted to add a little hint of color uh, to it, so I asked RCA WD to provide me with some parts, and they did. And I will show them to you and take the Chevy out for a spin. Let's go. So here you can see the K5 Blazer, how it's right out of the box and it looks awesome. It has great tires and it already has Porto Exos installed. All I wanted to add is some color to the black and chrome. I wanted to add some red. So I had a look and RCA WD were so kind to send me those. Wow, I gotta love this metallic red and it's even beadlocks and I do like the compound of the rubber. It's grippy, soft and yet durable. The diameter of those tires are just a tiny bit wider than the stock tires, but it's still a bit more. Oh yeah, and also, as always, with RCAW you get stickers. And since the K5 Blazer only comes with friction dampers, RCAWD were so nice to send me some oil dampened shocks. In red, of course, and I wanted to put them in here, but this one already has oil dampers stock, but this one doesn't, as you can see. And also, I got those Porto axles, which are in the same color scheme, but I forgot that the Blazer already has Porto axles, so I didn't want to bother right now. But some FCX24 models don't have them, so if you want more ground clearance, as shown here, Definitely check them out. I will put a link in the description and here you can see the comparison. See, we have less ground clearance. Write me in the comments if you still want to see me putting on the Porto Exos from RCA WD on the Blazer. First of all, let's take off those tires and then continue taking off those dampers. The Chevy Blazer fortunately came with a wrenching tool in the box. So let's go. I will shorten that part down for you. And with that done, those are the ones we want to install later. Okay, now it's time to take off the friction dampers. And to unscrew them, I will use my Xiaomi Media screwdriver, which comes with a selection of bits and it even has two speeds. And it also has enough torque so I don't have to pre-loosen the screws manually. But first, I, I guess I gotta take off the body first. Yeah, much better like that. The oil shocks are a tiny bit shorter than the friction dampers. But thanks to the delay in compression, we won't have it bounce around that much anymore. Ah yes, perfect. Not too wobbly, not too stiff. Just the right amount. And now for the tire swap. Ah yes, and I think it looks great. Yeah, that looks great in my opinion. The black, the chrome and the red color scheme, it just works with that. But looks aren't everything, so let's take it out in the real world and see how it drives. So now after that you've seen all the angles, let's turn it on. Power on. Car on. Alright so far. Now what I'm interested in is the dampening. I mean, I'm not too deep into scale driving, but I still want to look at kind of realistic. So there has to be some bounce to it, but it shouldn't like wobble around all the time. Well then, let's drive around for a little bit.
Well, what can I say? For me, they're just a perfect fit color-wise and also the function. I'm convinced. And if you want to have other colors, they have them too. I will put a link in the description. And now let's check out uh, the performance. And of course, if you want to exchange the oil in the dampers, you can. So and adjust them the way you need them. So all in all, I'm still super happy with the purchase of the Chevy Blazer. And thank you, RCAWD for sending me the materials to make this car look so good and function so well so anyways i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and thank you for watching